If you want to know how you can make a music box inside of Roblox Studio, make sure to watch the video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial we will be making a simple jukebox or like a radio or whatever you want to call it. So basically you can go up to your radio, uh, You can it can be a model, a part, whatever it is, uh, you can press E on it, it will open a GUI and you can put the sound ID in there and then hit play and then the sound will play and you can fire on it. You can do anything you want basically with it, uh, it does not have any detections at all so if someone puts text in it. Uh, that's just gonna suck because it will just kind of break but um, overall It's a really simple system and I thought why not make a tutorial on it because that's cool If you do like this video give it a like if you don't like it give it a dislike Subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on that notification bell to never miss out on any video I upload and If you want to become a member click the blue join button down below But uh, if you do purchase a tier a membership tier Make sure to contact me on discord or else I will not be able to provide you with the perks uh, which are written down on the join page. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So it's as I said, it's a really simple system. So first of all, you want to uh, insert a part. You know, just a normal, normal part. As you can see, I inserted a normal part. You can anchor it if you want. It doesn't really matter. What you want to add in is a proximity prompt and a normal script. Uh, for the proximity prompt, you can customize it to your likings. Uh, I'm just gonna do a whole duration of one second and I am going to do uh, object text uh, Juke box and then um, open So it will say like uh, well, let's test it out actually to show you so if we go up to it As you can see juke box open and we got to hold it for a second before it would do anything But of course it doesn't do anything because we have not coded anything you want to insert a remote event in replicated storage, I recommend calling it jukebox uh, just so you know that um, it's for the jukebox. Uh, let me just do a jukebox. Well, actually, I'm gonna call it music box. Music, oh, open, and music box. Okay, so make sure this is just called music box, you know, just, just you know, it doesn't really matter. So in here, we need to define our proximity prompt by saying script.parent.proximityprompt, so you know script.parent.proximityprompt. Uh, we have to add in a triggered function. We've got to connect that to a player function, uh, which determines our player. So what we did now, once you trigger it, we'll know, the, the game knows it's a player, so we can just set a custom variable for that. All we got to do now is send that out, so let me just do this, local replicated storage is it's the game colon get service replicated storage I hope I said that right and all we got to do now is replicated storage dot music box colon fire client and we got to fire client it to the player because this uh, this code will open the GUI up so you can just leave it as this you can uh, insert a screen GUI insert GUI I'm just gonna call it as again music box I'm gonna insert a normal frame you can as I said you can customize this entirely uh, entirely to your likings it doesn't really matter uh, the anchor point you can set it to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and it will be a little bit offset don't worry uh, position 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 so it's exactly in the center uh, the size I'm just, I, I like to do mostly 500 by 350 because it's, it's just a little square uh, you can add in a UI corner so the, the corners get uh, cut off. Um, make sure you have a text button. Uh, I'm not going to waste any time into customizing the GUI. So let me just text um, play with a UI corner. And I'm just going to make it green. Because why not? Uh, let me just set the text a little bit different. Luckiest guy, why not? It doesn't look good, but I really don't even care about it, actually. I want to insert a text box, too. And the text box is really important. The text box is actually the most important part of this, because this is where you're going to put 
the Roblox Sound ID. And I know the audio conflict go going uh, going around currently, but uh, you can just use Roblox Audio uh, after 22nd of uh, March, I believe. So let's see, tech skill, nope. Uh, how is that called? I believe it's called a placeholder text, yes. Uh, just do uh, put sound ID here, as you can see. And now if you type in here, as you can see. Um, so now you want to make a local script. So let me just do that, local script. Uh, put it in the GUI and not in the frame. Uh, put it in the screen GUI. And now type script dot parent dot uh, frame dot text button dot mouse button one click comma connect function. So we're detecting if a player clicks it, and after that we will uh, fire the music box event back to the server and then play the song. So we can do um, uh, let's see game local replicated storage is equal to game. Like get service replicated storage as you can see uh, replicated storage dot music box colon fire server we have to fire it back to the server and uh, all we're gonna send is the ID so script dot parent dot frame dot text box dot text the text inside of the text box is going to be the sound ID and we will send that back to the server but after we do that we will be kind enough to disable the frame so uh, the sound plays and you don't have to like uh, press the GUI away because <clears throat> the script will do that for you um, so let's see but there's one thing we forgot and that is a replicated storage dot music box dot on client event call connect function uh, because in this script we're send once we uh, trigger it we're sending over a event to uh, to the client but over here, now we're going to catch that up and enable the GUI. So script dot parent dot frame whoa <clears throat> dot visible is equal to true. Over here, we will enable the GUI, and over here, once you click text button, uh, you can just like um, the, the, you will fire something, uh, the ID, and then we'll um, remove the frame from your screen. Now you want to go back to your server script and type replicated storage. <clears throat> dot music box dot on server event because this is a server script so on server event function a player and an arg uh, an arg stands for argument uh, it doesn't really matter what you type in here uh, make sure to add in a sound to the part a normal sound doesn't you don't have to customize it I'm just gonna set the volume to one <clears throat> so all you want to type is local ID is equals to and then a speech marks rbx asset id colon slash slash dot dot arg because this is your sound id and ids work like this rbx asset id colon slash slash that's just how they work um so basically that so script dot parent dot sound dot uh, sound id because we got to set the id first that's going to be the id we just created over here and then after that we can um Play it. So script the parent that sound colon play. And you can. Uh, does that exist? Ended colon wait. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter. You can ignore it out. But I'm just gonna do this. So now let's test this out in a game. Uh, make sure to disable your frame like this. Boop. Oh no. Like that. And let's try this out in game. So let's hit that play button. And let's see what happens. Okay, over here we can, as you can see, we can uh, get the radio on here. So let's play some music. And as you have seen, the music box works. Uh, I put a sound ID in, and the music just started blasting out of my ears, and that is amazing. So uh, this is the tutorial. We made a music box, a working one. If you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, give
give it a like if you don't like it give it a dislike subscribe to my channel become a member do anything you want all i can say is that my name is newbie and i say peace out